This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here to drink and spill tea with my gang, Ewa Oluwa Ritsu and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. Gang, gang. How gang, you doing? Gang. We're good. It's popping, go. I'm all right. Yeah. So you have the rules of her. Oh, this love is becoming sweeter. Yeah. Aww. When money enters, love the sweet. Right. So money has entered. Yeah. Ah. Oh wow! Congratulations, mm -hmm. guys. No, no. I say when you enter. Okay. No. <laughs> Make sure never go get full. <laughs> okay. Let's do be, you know, managing, you know. Mm. Don't worry, it's okay. I'll build home. with you. Hm. Yeah, you see? We're building a mansion, mm. an empire, a dynasty. Mm. Uh, should I go on? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so there is a revived drama in Nigeria's entertainment industry, and it's between one of Nigeria's best exports, Dibanj, and his former manager, Bankuli. According to Gisto, so I heard, it all started after an interview published by Pulse Nigeria a couple of weeks ago, where Bankuli narrated how he introduced the band to Kanye West. Now, I think the band feels like there was a bit of a lie in that interview, and he went to Bankuli's Instagram page to tell him to stop lying after Bankuli, also known as Osha, made a post with the caption, quote, silence don't lie, there is truth in silence. The band responded saying, um, quote, then brother, keep quiet, and if you just must talk about me, speak the truth, enough lies. Um, Bankuli responded again saying what truth are you looking for at this stage of your life keep your energy for your career and loved ones as you shall find the truth and the truth shall set you free be safe son okay so in another post Bankuli did not end there he went on to write and let me just read this the way he put it doing drugs will not help you but worsen your case i heard about white powder a shining prospect and you use your bad character to bloat all away hmm. it is never too late to go and seek truthful truthfully the forgiveness and truth you seek look inward change your lifestyle stop lying to yourself that all is well but go back to the source so that all can be well with you you have done so much evil to many people that you both know of okay that we both know of and today I speak for them all. End of quotes. <sighs> this way you go again on that white powder thing because that is a serious allegation. allegation. And yes, because that is um deep. Even if you know so much about somebody, I don't think that's something you should bring out there. And as adults, I mean, I don't even understand? expect this back and forth from both of them. No, no, no. I even respect the bunch. Um, they're, they're okay. And we call them at Doko Yatichaku. But I've heard stories that um, <laughs> the band's brother mm. is also kind of involved in drugs. And now you're dragging the band into this because that went viral at some point. I think that was about 2017 or 2018 when they said um, he used his house friends and blah, blah, blah. And then you're bringing this on social media. I think it's totally unnecessary, especially with somebody that you've had a working relationship with. Now, if you want to advise somebody, I don't think the best way is by bringing them down or exposing their it's darkest. Not advising him. No, 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 no. If you really, even if you feel that okay, the band is on some substance, it's not. This is not the right place to come and start narrating that. I think that I have a big problem with that. And um, about what the band is saying, that speak the truth. That is, the band is denying it already. He has denied it, and he says denied so. which one. The no. substance thing. Yeah. No, no, no the no, band no. already said speak the truth before, before he started the spelling. Yeah. Yeah. So the band is that's what I'm then, saying. Then that the band just, is yet to respond to this the one. The substance yeah. um, story is not even an advice. It's just maybe publicly shaming him. That's why it's, if even if you know that dark side of him, like you said, I don't think it's that's right to it's come true. out. That's, that's if, if it's true. Yeah, because this is very serious. I don't think somebody should even be saying this. And I mean, NGLA and can't. That's if he's not. That. No, no, no. I'm just saying as if he did this clear, man. All right, right now, okay, not, like, let's, let's face this scenario now. If the band decides to go to court mm. and um, says, this guy just um, defamed me in the formation of character. It will be defamation of character if he can prove that it is not, it's true. not true. So if yes, Bakuli so has an evidence or a witness or he knows that this is true, witness, then there is no defamation of character is anywhere. It's me against you. The now, unless they are going to say that, okay, yeah, we're going to be... You know, there's no, like, there's no video. <laughs> there's no video on yeah, there's, no video, sure there's no video. picture. No, what I mean, this is saying, hang, I'm just they used to saying. hang together, right? Since it's been long. So are you sure there's no video? Mm. 
That one Deja. I mean, <laughs> yes, that's, that is if and that is if not. I don't know, but yeah, I want drama. I just think um, Osha should, um, Oshas are usually very, very intellectual and they're always very, very smart. And I, I think, don't understand. It's Osha, not his uh, nickname. Is that his real name? Yeah, but it is uh, Orisha. It is like a short form of Orisha. So you know, Orisha someone you see smart. as a demigod. Mm. Yeah, so, and gods are Who supposed to be. To be, smart, to be and demigod. gods are supposed to. Ah, you don't God's need to be smart. Gods smart. are supposed to be smart. Really? Gods are supposed to know it all. Mm. Do you understand? So if you call yourself an Orisha and then you're acting like a child, then I'm sorry, yeah. I mean this is really Asho. this How can we spell his <laughs> name back? Yeah, Asho. This this is really <laughs> messy and I, I I I'm not liking what I'm seeing. But then imagine taking a shot at the bank's career. That man is already a legend. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, he performs globally. Do you get it? It's just wrong to take a shot at his career, but I feel both of them should sort this out and not do this. And they are well respected professionals yeah. that are known. I'm talking about, I don't want to call names, but I'm talking about certain CNN, um, what's it called, anchors mm. that is it's public that they, they are substances do you understand mm. and um they haven't still been fired because they're good at their job so i don't think it's a situation i think it's a thing of choice for grown men do you understand it's illegal but at the same time bringing it out on social media that is just wrong if i don't know where you got, went to right now but let's move on to the next story currently below seems to be dropping some wisdom on his twitter page he tweeted and i quote unfortunately some people have to die for you to move forward the good news is that you don't have to kill them unless you are killing them with, with love, love end mm. of quotes yeah so i get what he means i mean there are people that will just sit down and decide that until if I do not agree, this person will not get this job. This person will not be promoted. This person will not do this. This person will not do that. But if God says it has to happen, and the only way for it to happen is for you to be removed, my dear, you're setting yourself up for trouble. So I think um, it's just best for everyone to live by the video slang. What does it say? We rise, rise by lifting others. So don't deliberately be the stumbling block in the way of anybody's progress. It, it doesn't tell well on you, and it doesn't tell well on the person. And that, that other person will always find a way to survive. But you realize that you're sitting at a particular place trying to block someone, and in that way, you're also not moving forward because it is going to take a level of energy for you to be the stumbling block for someone, and it's going to also draw you down. So I get where he's coming from, but I hope people will listen. I'm, I'm I feel like people see life in different ways. ways. Mm -hmm. Some people don't see it as maybe somebody have to die, literally, or die, die, whatever it is. Some people, do, like you said the other day, we were talking about um, bringing other people down, uh, and talk, praying for your enemies, mm -hmm. and you said you don't even care about them because at the end of the day, God is still going to put you where he wants to put you, mm -hmm. or your hard work. Some people that don't believe God will put you where, your hard work will put you where you're supposed, supposed to, to be. be. So people just see life differently. Maybe that's how he sees life, and that's how he's handling it. That's OK. Other people might not see it that way. Other people might not agree with it. That's fine. I think what I got from all of this is um, success is the best revenge. So even if somebody has tried to be a stumbling block in your life, he said you don't necessarily have to kill them literally, but mm. kill them with you love. love. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And that love is, even though somebody has been bad to you, it doesn't mean you should go to their faces and rub it in when you become successful. Still be that person that would show somebody that was bad to you, that was unkind to you. Show them kindness, show them love, and let them feel like, ah, after all I've done to this guy, I think revenge, I mean, I think success is mm. the best revenge. So that's what it means by when you're killing them with love. So just smile in the faces because I've always said it on the show. One, when one door closes, and another one will open. open. And even if another one don't open, the window will be open or the back door. We shall enter one way or the other, <laughs> shall, or it will break through the roof. One way or the other, we'll be in there. And then when we get to the top, we'll be there together and then we're all smiling. And then I think that's just the killing them with love. It doesn't mean kill those people literally. You know your stumbling blocks, you know your problems in life. Life, you know the people that are there that and you know the people that are not there for you but at the end of the day when you make it, it doesn't mean oh pay them backwards in, in, in their own coin just do your thing and just be happy because your sanity is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned okay and I'm saying don't be the one to be the stumbling block try right. don't be the one that devil is using we're going on a quick break but when we come back we have guests in the studio
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. On this episode, we'll be looking at the umbrella body of the actors in Nigeria, known as the Actors Guild of Nigeria. On the 31st of October 2019, an election was held in Akwaibom, which saw new executive members elected and some old executive members retaining their positions. Nollywood has grown over the years and is still growing. We are beginning to see better stories and better understanding of show business. What are the plans of the newly elected executive of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. What are they doing differently to better position Nollywood globally? Um, we have the best people to share the association's vision with us and to discuss Nollywood. The president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rolas, and the public relations officer of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Mona Lisa Chinda Koka. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank Welcome you for having me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so and much. Congratulations on your election and your re-election. Yeah. Yeah. Re yeah. Thank you. Will you be running for top ten? <laughs> Not for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? Why did you feel the need to run again? Yeah, you know, the first uh, tenure was an interim government, mm -hmm. so it was like uh, we used it to stabilize the guild from the crisis. That, of course, crippled the association for over five years. Mm. Then, uh, having set the motion, kind of uh, in, in the two years, uh, we used it to make sure that we had peace nationally, because before then we had crises, we had factions here and there. Now, having set, made sure that uh, the guild was now on a path of uh, moving forward, of course, you know, it won't be uh, it won't be rational for somebody who set this foundation mm. not to begin to build the house. That was okay. why I had to go for that run. If not, I would have just said, okay, since I've made peace, let somebody else come and do that. Mm -hmm. But I would feel somehow if you stand outside and the person comes, he didn't have the blueprint, you know, of how that peace was achieved. He might mess it up some way again. I would return back to the drawing board. I may be wrong, but um, there's this um, post um, general notion that not every actor or actress is a part of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, like in the case of um, Lee Zanjori and Tony Abraham, Tampan came to deny them to say that they're not even parts of the association to start with, so they can't get involved in their um, social media mm -hmm. dispute at that time. So what are the criteria for actors to join the Actors Guild of Nigeria, and what do they stand to gain when they join that. Oh, okay, let me let me put it straight. Uh, your statement may be true, it may be wrong from, you know, depends on where you are looking at it from. You know, initially when Nollywood started, it was just something that started by people. Uh -huh. People didn't have information about most of these associations. Uh -huh. And you know, if you want to help your people, you give them more information. Uh -huh. Now when Nollywood started, some of these associations came to be 20 years back. But then it was seen more or less like uh, people gathering together at joints, drink, mm. and all of that. Mm. They didn't even know the global I impact mm. made by such associations in terms of protecting their members in different kinds of cases. But over the years, the Nollywood industry expanded. It took more people, there were more crowd. Then more stars, more celebrities were born. Then we began to let people know that these are the issues. If you suffer this kind of a thing, your association should be able to help you solve that problem. Now, the rights of an actor is very paramount. Most of these jobs that we do, I give you an instance. Somebody is being taken as, uh, for instance, you are, you are a role model for, you are an ambassador of a brand. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And one morning, the brand wakes up and says, you are no longer our ambassador. Ordinarily, before you do that, you should be able to give the actor one month that you want to change him or her. He or she will talk to his or her lawyers. They will talk about it. But because nobody knows that this is the right of the actor being trampled upon, you wake up one morning and say they have dropped you. Either because you had issue with the managing director or you had issue with somebody in the company and all of that. But if you belong to a very strong association or union, these are the things they have to fight for you. More often than not, you find that a lot of actors, they will fall sick and they are looking mm -hmm. for money, oh, begging here and there. They didn't know that the association has health insurance programs. Other this insurance is 3,500 because I checked it. I saw yes. that you're paying 18,500. 3,500 for the insurance. Yes. And, uh, and that's about it. So it's less than. So are you paying that 3,500 <coughs> monthly? No, it's an annual it's thing. An annual, it's an annual year. thing. So because it's of the once number. a year. Would that be enough? Like, let's, um, Babasuwe, for instance, when he was sick and all of that. That 3,500, do you think is enough? Don't you think that there should be more put into insurance? And I think this should be directed to you being the PRO. <laughs> so I think you're in the best position to answer this question. No, uh, well, that is, if every, you know, we have so many people in Act, act, I mean actors, we have lots of actors. I believe that if everybody really pay their due diligence, mm. they actually get registered, get, you know, pay your dues yearly, it will cover. And then we are also planning to partner with some of these medical centers mm. that will also discount some of this stuff, for, um, um, bills for us. And, you know, that I think from what he has said, these are the things we want to put in place for in our tenure and see how that will pan out. But by the special grace of God, if we stand our, our, on our grounds and get some of these actors registered, it will help ease some of this um, burden, some of these issues on our veterans. Okay, um, talking about what you want to do in this particular tenure, what's like the greatest challenge you're facing in the Nollywood industry and how do you intend to solve that? I think that question should actually be <laughs> Okay, okay, it, it, it depends on where we are coming from. You know, having having set the foundation now, we are about to start up. First of all, you know, organizationally, anywhere in Nigeria today, you see people carrying cameras. Mm. This person tells them, an actor, what have you done? We, don't, we can't even identify who are actors. It's, it's, it's this time that we need to regulate the industry from our own perspective. We want to regulate. If you go to Asaba, different areas where they are making films, okay, it's good if you were an arm robber and you decided to change to become an actor. But it's bad if you become an actor and you continue being an arm robber. Mm. You understand the point? A lot of people come, okay, we can, we have changed your life. Nollywood has changed your life. But because you're not getting enough pay from the job you have chosen mm. to do, you still find the same people become actors in the afternoon and then become Ambrose again in the night. Okay, that, that takes me back to what Pascal Atuma said about um, Nollywood actresses because of their um, luxurious lifestyle on social media that most of them are prostitutes. And you came out to say that. Exactly. Why would you say such a thing from an industry you have benefited so much from? And um, if you can name one person who is a prostitute. And I think other people said that anybody that works for Pascal Atuma right now, then you must be a pimp or a prostitute. <laughs> so now let's talk about that. Like, do you think this is true? about the industry like because there's really no unity if you ask me is it's, that the case it's far from being the truth that was why i came out against pascal atoma you know generally in the general parlance some people will tell you why i'm not a great actress today is because people have often asked me about my body and i tell you there's no industry in the world that there are no sexual harassment mm. do you understand the point so you cannot be exceptional about the actors if you have done something with somebody who claims to be an actor, it's not enough for you to say. You saw the recent one in Canada about one lady. Mm -hmm. Sahara reporters that broke the news they didn't mention her to be a Nollywood actress. Mm -hmm. But all the bloggers said Nollywood actress. I had to dig into it. And I found out that this lady hasn't acted in any film. Mm -hmm. oh, and is wow. not a <laughs> member of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I quickly issued a statement. I said, look, and if I had kept quiet, the Canadian embassy would have begun to look at people who come with identification for actors to mm. mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I quickly wrote the embassy. I, I even put a call across. I said, look, 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 don't do this thing to us. You understand? Every, every industry, they have their challenges. 
you know. So if you met a prostitute who decided to disguise herself and say, I'm an actress, you didn't verify. Mm -hmm. If the prostitute dupes you, you now run back and say, one mm -hmm. actress duped me. You don't generalize issues. Mm -hmm. Do you okay, understand? in your first um, tenure, you launched a, or let me say, the AGN launched a mobile a app. Mobile app, yes. And it became an affiliate to the federal. International. FIA. FIA. No, we've been affiliated since. Okay, and I mean, we could see the progression. Yes. What is the plan going forward? Because even if you want to do a lot, you have to start from somewhere and have like mm -hmm. a plan. So, what do we expect um, in this? Term? In this new tenure, yeah. like I just told you, you know, we we've we've been having challenges getting things done for actors. We are trying to build an emporium for Actors Guild of Nigeria and somewhere in Abuja. We are looking outside the box. We don't want to depend on paying dues and paying that before we're able to solve the problem of our actors. We're trying to launch deeply. The AGM Foundation will just set it up. Mm -hmm. We have not done the official launch. And we intended, because we're partnering with some foreign organizations on health, health uh, HMO, mm -hmm. so that it will no longer be, just like you mentioned, <coughs> the case of mm -hmm. apart from the insurance payment you are making, if you have a very good understanding with foreign organizations of HMO, mm -hmm. there are issues they can deal with outright, That's even right. if it is 20 million naira. Right. We want to consolidate on this thing. Knowing that AGN is not a body that is uh, profit-making, so you will not say particularly. Anything we needed to do has to come to how much do you have, how much finances do you have. Mm -hmm. So we want to see that we think outside the box and create all of these uh, areas, get enough funding. So that whatever you decide to do, you can just go ahead and do it. Then people begin to understand. But the, what we need to drive right now is that there are about 40% of practitioners, actors I now speak, who are in the creek in different places in Nigeria that do not know what the Actors Guild of Nigeria is all about. Okay, there's a question if I ask that you've not answered and we need to go, but I need you to answer that question. What does it take to be part of the AGN? As I spend the dues, what should I, what are the criteria? Is it that I have to just yeah. decide that I want to be an actor then, or what is what is the criteria? No, basically, if you are an actor already or you want to, to be, be. Okay. you just go to the app. Okay. Open to, to the. Yeah. To so be. it's open for all. So That's yeah. Yeah. Done. A lot of people are not enlightened about. We will now take you for the screening procedures and then. And then that's it. Then Do you want to share a bit of the screening procedure? Of course, we'll have to find out who you are, where you're coming from, and all okay. of that. Oh, okay. okay. And what you can do okay. then. So I have just one quick question before we go. How is the support from government? Are they like really supportive, or they're just letting you do your thing on your own? For Actors Guild of Nigeria, we have different kinds of support from government. Like recently, we just finished a, a film for the uh, Nigerian military. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to, of course, launch it very soon. We have had, just like we went to Akwaibom to do our elections, was a big support from government. Okay, okay. For government to support you, you must show that you are serious. Mm -hmm. You must show something. You yeah. must show credibility and all yes. of that. So we're asking our members to understand that this association is for us and all of that. Government is doing the much they can as they understand what you're doing. Mm. All right, we hope to carry on this conversation because this time is not enough, but we have to go right now. Thank Please, you so yeah. much for your time. Thank you. And thank you also for watching. Remember, you can join the conversation on our social media by using the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewa Oluwa Witu, Ife Oluwa Oshukaye, and the entire production <laughs> team. And of course, our studio guests, Munari Sachin Dakoka and Emeka Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.